Imagine biting into a juicy burger that didn't come from a farm, but from a lab. Sounds impossible, right? Well, in 2013, the world saw the first lab-grown burger, and it cost a staggering $325,000. But here's the shocker. It didn't require a single animal to be killed. Today, lab-grown meat is not just real. It's cheaper, better for the planet, and could soon be on your dinner plate. Ready to discover how this futuristic food is made? Number 1. The Beginning of Lab-Grown Meat – Stem Cells Let's start with the foundation of lab-grown meat – stem cells. Stem cells are like little shapeshifters that can become almost any type of cell, including muscle cells, which are crucial for meat production. Scientists collect these cells from live animals in a painless process, meaning no animals are harmed, which is a huge plus for animal lovers. The collected cells are placed in a lab where the magic truly begins. Once in the lab, these stem cells are nurtured in a special environment that provides them with the right nutrients to grow. Think of it like a cozy bed for cells, filled with everything they need. Amino acids, carbohydrates, and vitamins. From just a few cells, they can multiply into billions. It's like having a never-ending meat source without harming any animals. Cool, right? Number two, culturing the cells. It's like farming in a lab. After collecting the stem cells, the next step is to culture them. This is where things get really interesting. The cells are placed in a bioreactor, which is like a giant incubator, and they start to grow and multiply. Imagine a farm, but instead of animals grazing on fields, you've got cells multiplying in a lab. They need the right temperature, nutrients, and a little bit of care, and voila, you've got cells growing like crazy. The best part? It only takes a small number of cells to create a whole lot of meat. One tiny muscle cell can grow into trillions of muscle cells, enough to make thousands of burgers. It's like magic, but backed by science. And all this without the environmental impact of traditional farming. How amazing is that? Number 3. Muscle Cells Turning Into Meat Now here's where the real transformation happens. The muscle cells, once fully grown, naturally fuse together to form tiny strands of muscle tissue. It's kind of like how your muscles repair and grow after exercise, but on a much smaller scale. These strands are then layered together, eventually creating a structure similar to meat. While it may not look exactly like a steak at first, these muscle fibers are the building blocks of lab-grown meat. The layers are carefully formed to replicate the texture of real meat. Scientists even encourage the cells to exercise by making them contract helping them grow into stronger, more realistic meat. Talk about a workout. Number four, the secret to taste and texture. At this point, lab-grown meat looks pale and doesn't have the same flavor as traditional meat. So scientists work their magic again by adding fat cells, which are key to making the meat juicy and flavorful. Without fat, meat would taste bland and dry, and nobody wants that. By adding fat cells, lab-grown meat gets closer to the taste and texture we're used to. Interestingly, the first lab-grown burger was said to be a little dry and not as tasty as a regular burger, but the technology has come a long way since then. Now, researchers are fine-tuning the flavor to make sure it's just as delicious, if not better than traditional meat. So get ready, your future burger might taste just as mouth-watering. Number 5. The Cost is Coming Down when lab-grown meat first hit the scene in 2013, the price was astronomical. We're talking about $325,000 for a single burger. That's not exactly affordable for your average barbecue. But here's the exciting part. The cost has dropped dramatically. Today, lab-grown meat can be produced for as little as $11 per patty, and the price is expected to keep falling. This price drop is a game-changer because it means that in the near future, lab-grown meat will be affordable for everyone. Soon, you could buy a lab-grown burger for the same price as a regular one, maybe even less. It's not just about cost, though. Producing lab-grown meat is also cheaper in terms of environmental resources. Less water, less land, and fewer emissions. Sounds like a win-win, doesn't it? Number 6. Environmentally Friendly Let's talk about the environment. Traditional meat production is a huge strain on our planet. Raising animals takes up massive amounts of land, water, and energy. Cows, in particular, are responsible for a large chunk of greenhouse gas emissions. Lab-grown meat, on the other hand, requires far fewer resources. In fact, it uses 90% less land and water compared to conventional meat production. This means that lab-grown meat could be one of the solutions to climate change. As the world's population grows, the demand for meat is increasing, and we simply can't sustain the traditional methods. 
lab-grown meat offers a more sustainable option for feeding the planet without destroying it. Pretty cool, right? Number 7. The Ethical Code One of the most compelling reasons people are excited about lab-grown meat is the ethical aspect. No animals are slaughtered to produce it. For people who care about animal rights but still love the taste of meat, this is a huge breakthrough. Imagine enjoying a juicy steak knowing no animal had to suffer for it. That's a pretty satisfying thought. Plus, since no animals are involved in the traditional sense, there is no need for things like antibiotics or growth hormones, which are often used in industrial farming. This makes lab-grown meat not only kinder to animals, but potentially healthier for us, too. It's a win-win for animals and humans alike. Number 8. Scaling up for the future Right now, lab-grown meat is still being produced in small quantities, mainly in research labs, but companies are already looking at ways to scale up production to meet the demands of the market. Imagine factories full of bioreactors churning out meat on a large scale. It sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's quickly becoming reality. The goal is to make lab-grown meat as widely available as traditional meat, whether that's in grocery stores or fast food restaurants. With the technology advancing at lightning speed, it might not be long before your local burger joint starts serving lab-grown patties. And the best part? It could be even better for the environment and your wallet. Number 9. The Health Benefits Lab-grown meat also has the potential to be healthier than conventional meat. Because scientists have full control over the process, they can tweak the fat content, reduce cholesterol, or even add beneficial nutrients. Imagine a burger that's not only delicious, but also better for your heart. Sounds pretty great, right? This kind of control over the meat production process means that lab-grown meat could one day be a healthier alternative to the meat we're used to. Less saturated fat, fewer additives, and no need for antibiotics could make lab-grown meat a healthier option for many people. And who doesn't want their food to be both tasty and healthy? Number 10. The Future of Meat Production Lab-grown meat isn't just about making burgers in a lab. It's about rethinking the entire process of meat production in the future, we could see a whole range of lab-grown meat products, from steaks to chicken nuggets to fish fillets. The possibilities are endless, and the impact could be huge. With the right technology, we could even grow exotic meats that are hard to find today, all without harming a single animal. The future of food production is bright, and lab-grown meat is leading the way. As the technology becomes more advanced and widespread, it could change the way we think about food. One day, eating lab-grown meat could be as normal as buying veggies from the grocery store. And honestly, that's pretty exciting. And there you have it, the future of meat grown in a lab without harming a single animal. The next time you bite into a burger, it might just be science on your plate. Thanks for watching.